All right. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm one of the 24 members of the Spring 2013 Bitmaker Labs cohort. Um, Bitmaker Labs is a Toronto startup that is designed to bring somebody who doesn't know how to code, like me, and turn them into a full stack web developer in nine weeks, which sounds like an incredible challenge, and it is. Um, today was the first day of class, uh, so we got to know everybody um, in the group. Uh, we got to know our teachers, we got to know our TAs. Um, so there was a lot of getting to know each other, a lot of forgetting names. Um, but we also talked about the Toronto tech scene and kind of how it looks uh, here in Toronto, um, which was kind of interesting because there is a lot of talent that starts off in Toronto, but people seem to go to um, SF or Palo Alto, um, other startup hubs to continue their careers. Um, so we don't have a lot of senior developing talent, but that is changing, and uh, hopefully that trend continues, um, and we keep some really talented people here in Toronto. Um, something really cool that we learned today um, was HTML and CSS. Uh, we started going over that process with our instructors, um, just so we can drill that into our head a little bit more. Um, before we got here, we started a 50-hour class. Um, it was designed to be about 50 hours long. Some people spent more time, some people spent less. But um, basically, you want to make sure that we could hit the ground running um, when we got here to BitMaker. Um, so it was review, it was learning. Um, interesting thing that we learned today was that an anchor tag is an A ref, href tag. Um, we all just thought it was an A tag. So when we got when uh, we got a question that was like, so what's an anchor tag? We were like, ah, no idea. But it is an a href, um, which is used for links. So that was really interesting because half the class didn't know that. Um, <laughs> it's just one of those like small things that kind of takes everybody by surprise. Um, we did some pair programming, um, going through some problems on code school. Um, we also did a um, programming session with our instructor, Monica, and uh, she basically just said, okay, here's the HTML, and this is what we want to create, so tell me what stuff to type in for the CSS um, so we can make it look like that. And we made a lot of mistakes, um, but we learned, and uh, the entire class was able to see those failures um, and see how things would work. Obviously, the instructors know to answer, but they're going to tell, they're going to just type in what we tell them um, because they want us to see that things go wrong, which um, is kind of interesting because it levels the playing field. Um, there are no people who are really the know-it-alls because uh, you can't be when you're testing code. Because I mean, some people were like, oh, I, this is not gonna work at all. And it's a, it brings up an unexpected result. So we see how things break. Um, more importantly, we see how to fix them. Um, so that was kind of the summary of today. Um, we did have a project, which is a resume project that we were assigned a little while ago. Um, basically build a resume in HTML and CSS and make it look pretty and just do whatever you want to do um, just so you can mess around with uh, CSS selectors. Um, so tomorrow we should be going over um, how these work in the group um, and going over each person's code and just kind of checking stuff out, refactoring code, making it look better, adding better things to the resumes. Um, so that was kind of the summary of day one at BitMaker Labs. Um, so tomorrow, we're going to be doing more HTML and CSS, and uh, we'll see how things go. But um, so I think it's going to be another packed day of knowledge. Um, anyway, this is Matt signing off for day one of uh, the nine-week BitMaker cohort. Later.